Today, we are fishing 100 year old lures for pond monsters. And even though these lures were 100 years old, these bass still couldn't resist them. Here goes the top water only 100 year old lure edition. We have not filmed a video like this on the channel before, so I'm pretty pumped about it. We have a whole tackle box right here filled with 100 year old lures. You got the boy Fletcher, what's oh, going on? Let me see what what's we going got. on. And then we Dude, got Tara in the back. She said she's gonna put a butt whipping on us today, Fletch. What do you what do you think's gonna go down? Dude, I think I'm gonna tie this frog on right here and I'm gonna catch a 10 pounder. This thing, this thing, if I can get it untangled. <laughs> Looks like it could probably catch a 10 that. pounder. That thing is gnarly. Dude, that thing is looking spicy. So this is actually a frog lure. We've used it a few times before, but it actually doesn't sit on the surface. It goes kind of a little you bit can below. Pop it. Like it, it'll float. Yeah. But it's like supposed to be a crankbait. If you just kind of let it float and just like jerk it, you can definitely fish keep it. it up on top of the water. Yeah, that's pretty slick though. It's just crazy how these lures have adapted and, and been into the, some of the baits that we have today. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. Let's go ahead and go through some of these. So we got the frog, obviously. We got this bait up here, which is very interesting. The sombrero popper. <laughs> yeah, the sombrero popper. So it looks like just a standard like walking bait, like a standard spook. But it's got this metal on top and it pretty much pops a bunch of water. So it's pretty much just a popper, but it looks like a walking bait. These right here are actually crankbaits. I'm not gonna be throwing this today because I'm only throwing top water. Maybe Fletcher end up cheating later on in the video or something <laughs> and, and throwing those a little bit. This one, I don't really know what it is. We haven't fished with this one yet. I think it's some sort of a popper. We have a rat right here, which is very interesting. This thing actually walks very well. That's a hundred year old rat, which is pretty crazy. And then we got the prop bait, which is kind of like a whopper popper or a patroller. Similar. Pretty much a prop bait though. I wouldn't really consider it like a whopper popper just because of the two props on the front. I have no idea what the, Fletcher, what even is this? Could you I think it's some kind of like jerk bait or crank bait. It's missing a hook, but I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it looks like it, a banana. <laughs> I mean, it is an interesting shape. And then the last bait we have is like a, is that a jerk bait, Fletch? I'm going to call it a jerk bait. It kind of looks like a pike, doesn't it? Yeah. Like the front of it looks identical to a baby pike so we got a bunch of different baits in here today we're gonna be rocking with them guys i'm gonna be throwing only the top water we're all gonna start with only the top water and like i said fletcher might cheat towards the end of the day and show y'all that ain't cheating. so yeah we're gonna go ahead and hop into this get out on the boats we're gonna be running a little challenge today though boys and girls what do you think we're gonna be running big uh, fish big fish smallest fish you probably <laughs> you probably won that one dude listen i think we're gonna have to rock with the big fish we actually got a scale somewhere yeah we got a scale down there Fletcher has a scale in his boat, so that's what we're gonna be doing. But let's go ahead and uh, tie these baits on our rods, get out to this beautiful lake, and try to catch some of these big topwater bass today. You ready? I'm ready. Give, give me a knuckle touch, man. Even though we're going um, against each other, you gotta give me a knuckle touch. I right. got my money on Tara. Yeah, she's probably she, gonna, she caught us almost a seven pounder last she's time. She's been on a big fish tear. She has. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get these boats in the water, guys, and uh, get to fishing. I'm gonna give this a snip, and Noah, uh, I'm gonna need you to hand me one of them prop baits. And I want a sombrero bait. Give me that thing. You want this one? Yeah, you want to try the banana lure and I'll, just kind of see what it is? Can I try that? And you the, can try both of them, I'll man. I'll try the banana and the jerk. And if you need anything else, we'll meet up on the water. Tara wants a pop reaction. Okay. She's going to start off with sombrero. I'm just going to toss it right there, Tara. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to start off with a rat, dude. The rat. I don't know who thought a good idea would be to put rope next to a treble hook, but uh, yeah, that's the only annoying part. All right, boys. We're ready for liftoff. Old Ratatouille. I guess we're going to start off with the Mr. Rats. And this thing right here, you would be surprised with how this thing moves. Like I can walk it, I can walk the dog with that puppy. By the way, we're going to pair this up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. I appreciate everybody who's been supporting me in the brand. It really means a lot. Tara's actually going to be rocking her kicking one as well. Um, but it is a spinning combo. So let's go ahead and get after it. I'm going to put my line up my eyelids, tie this puppy on and get to work. I think we're going to smoke them. I think Mr. Rat might do the dang big fish. All right, guys, we're going to tie this up with a little uni knot, McUni. Pretty simple. Kind of looks like a frog. Yeah. Oh man, it's kicking. I haven't seen a kicking combo in a minute. We've been filming with a bunch of different stuff. 
see how the hook's already in the dang string? That's gonna cause a little problem today, but we're not gonna let it stop us. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> took my rod in the water there. Try not to do that again. I think what we're gonna do is just kind of this, it's kind of rip. See how it throws water up like that? Ooh. You, you aren't ready for the fish I'm about to catch on this thing. There we go. Oh, we're on first, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Cranked it too. What a fish, man. What a fish. I don't know if Noah talked about this at all yet, but the barbs on these hooks are crazy, guys. <laughs> this is not a easy hook to get out. Let's see what the damage is. Oh no, oh no, oh, okay. Well, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. I think we're good. All right, guys. Well, that just means we're just gonna have to catch another one. It's gonna be a probably about 10 casts. Yeah, that tail is horrendous. I don't want to like defeat the purpose of the rat and cut off his tail, but I do think we should chip off a, a good portion of it. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Maybe that won't get hung up. You know what I mean? I'll chop this tail in half. Just maybe that'd be a little better. Oh yeah. Feels like it's even running better now. All right, guys, we're gonna fish offshore for a moment. So I'm actually gonna cut this rat off for the time being. We're gonna tie it back on and go back for it under those trees. Cause I think we can get a sick blow up. I'll say we go with the prop bait. We definitely wanted to throw this today. And that, that is what Fletcher ended up getting his fish on, which just looks saucy. So of all these baits, I feel like this prop bait is definitely the most like proven bait that people still use out of this design. We're gonna have to vary our retrieve and see what they want today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I feel like we might not get a ton of bites, but the bites we do get are gonna be insane. Gotta be very gentle. I feel like this thing, when it hits the water, it's so obnoxious. There we go. He ate it. Oh my God, he freaking came up. Giant Tara. I landed in his freaking mouth. Did you see his whole, that was, that was a good, oh, he's, oh, there he oh is. There. Tara, Tara, oh. he's under me still, oh my gosh, it's insane, it's a big one too, oh that was the most insane bite I've had in a long time, he freaking followed it out, oh my gosh, I literally saw him going under it, he barely hooked, barely hooked, here we get him, we get him. Oh my gosh, this fish is so aggressive. There we go, that's a good four pounder, baby. Oh my gosh. No. That is a freaking mega, boys. Let's go, baby. That was one of the craziest eats I've had probably in a couple years. That, that was just crazy, man. It was one of the craziest little moments right there. He, he missed it that second time and I could see him under it still. I saw his whole like shadow underneath the bait. There we go. Hey, that 100-year-old hook right there, Tara. <laughs> that 100-year-old hook had him. Let's see what we got. This might be close to four pounds, if not four. Three pounds, 13 ounces. Look at that. That's a good one right there, boys. Came up, ate that 100-year-old prop bait. What a freaking bite. There we go, boys. First fish for me of the day. Now Tara just got to get on board. A 313, almost a four-pound bass on the prop bait. There he goes. Beautiful. Couldn't have been a better that release. Awesome. Give me some. That was insane. One, I called the fish. I threw, and, and the moment I threw the bait up there, you could just see his mouth come up and try to eat it. Totally missed it. Threw back in there, was working it out. The fish just slammed it. Totally missed it. And you could tell he was still interested because I could see a shadow below the bait and he just came up and destroyed it. Well, there we go, boys. We're on board. Fletcher got one. I don't know what else is going on with him. He's in a whole different boat. Let's keep it going, boys. Maybe we'll hold on to the lead. 313. Definitely bigger than Fletcher's. You know why? He dropped his dang fish in the lake. He didn't even get a dang weight on it. I always say this on these videos where we're fishing just different baits. So I got this 100-year-old prop bait. How would you guys be working it? Leave your feedback down below. I'm curious just to see how you guys would work this bait. Like for me, I just want to rip the prop bait and let it sit. 
kind of let it pause. I mean, would you guys straight retrieve it like this? Would you guys sit there and rip it, let it pause a lot longer than what I'm doing, work it faster? How would you guys work it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Get him, Tear. You got him? Yeah, he's on there. Baby? Ah, he's running with it. Not a, not a bad one. Oh. He's off. Oh, good try. Good try. He just got leverage on it. Bomber. Dang. All right, boys and girls at a new pond. I don't know. We had an itch to be like, let's move locations. So that is exactly what we're doing now. You ready, ma'am? Are you sir. ready? I'm ready. You ready? Okay. All right, boys and girls. We don't throw the dang proper topper for just a little bit. And then I'm probably gonna pick up my dang ratatouille. I don't know what to expect in here. I really don't. But all I know is the last time that we fished this place, they were on fire. I just don't know if these fish are shut off, man. Or they just don't like us, you know? They're like, ah, oh, I ain't trying to help them out today, you know? Well, we're gonna go around and fish this dang pond and hopefully we'll end up smoking some, some large ones. Oh, oh, instantly, instantly. Oh, oh baby dude i straight up popped her one time and it was just done that's all she wrote let's get him baby hey not bigger than my donkey we caught in the last lake but hey we'll take her that was quick look at how she ate that hundred year old prop bait love the freaking seats all right that was on the board of the new pond we gotta make it happen here guys we gotta make it happen gotta make it Something happened here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come back, come back, come back. Sounds like Fletcher just had a bite. This place might be on fire, guys. Last spot I just think the top water wasn't it. So when in doubt, move ponds. Thank you, baby. You were a beautiful two pounder. There she goes. That was the easiest bite I've ever had. I mean, I just straight up popped it once and it was just done. <laughs> that was literally it. Maybe we'll throw it a little bit longer. And then we'll switch to the rat. I literally threw it in there, did that, and she just came up and ate it. I'm liking this dock we're coming up on here. Taking my time. Ooh. Oh no, did I get in the grass? Please don't have grass all over it. No! There was a little patch. The grass I could see in the back! Doesn't matter. Still got him. Still got him. Oh no, did he come off? No! Oh no! The grass monster got the best of me. That's really unfortunate, guys. I threw it in the back of that little spot there, and there was some of this grass, and it got all over my hooks, and even though there was a bunch of stuff on it, that fish came up and grabbed it, but he probably just didn't get a good hook in him because of all the grass, apparently. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna cut off the prod bait. Tara might throw this. I want her to get on board here. And this bait's been getting a good bit of bites. I'm going to actually go back to the rat, guys. I got to catch a fish on the rat. I will not feel accomplished today if we don't get one on the rat. So we're going to tie this up and get to work. Start walking this thing kind of like a little frog. And I think we should get bit pretty quick on it. I would think. I've had two bites on that prop bait. Fletcher's had a couple bites. So they're biting in here a lot better than that last week. Just a little tiny mouse hopping down the branch. This rat oddly walks better than any frog I've ever put on, guys. Like, actually. He walks so clean. Like, it's so easy to walk. You barely twitch your rod, and this whole thing's just shooting around. Walks so good. He wasn't in it, but he was there. He does like oh, got one. Oh! Is that a good one? There you go, Tim. Hey, I'm on the board. Let's go. There you go. First fish for Tara. You gotta land them. Be careful with them. You can just grab the line. Just grab the line. Just, just grab the line. I wanna go home. <laughs> keep fishing. You don't give up when you lose one. You keep fishing. No giving up around here, girl. There's... Oh, yes, red bass. Red bass. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, he choked my rat. He choked me ratatouille. Oh, it's the ratatouille. Oh, yeah, you like the rat. Oh, yeah, you do. That's a dang long bass. Holy mother of pearl. Look at the rat. 
down in his mouth. Do you think he wanted it? Because I think he wanted it. Definitely not gonna go over 313, but that was awesome eat. And I'm glad I got to get one on the rat, guys. I was really wanting a rat bass right now. Maybe he didn't destroy it, but he straight up choked it, man. Beautiful bass right there. We're actually gonna measure him for this online tournament that I just I just started fishing on like the last five days of the tournament. It's never too late to start, eh? Never too late to start. See where she goes. She's so long. This actually goes by uh, length and not weight. She's 18 and a quarter. Thank you for biting, baby. She bleeding a good bit. I don't even know where that blood came from. She got her gills just slightly. Thank you for biting, baby. All right, guys. Well, that is our first fish on the 100-year-old rat. That is just awesome. It is honestly so crazy for me to think about two guys that back then, they were literally thinking about throwing rats lures there we go yeah not a bad one not a bad one at all come on in here son we got us one guys finally broke the streak of not being able to hook up with a dang fish a lot of bites not a lot of hookups come here let's get these hooks out of your mouth now relax 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 Thank you. We'll throw you on the scale, even though you're smaller than the first fish we got on the boat by, by probably a pound. Uh, we failed to weigh the last one, so we need to get something on the board here. Just don't, don't you start doing that. Don't you start doing that. Relax, it's a massage. One pound, 12 ounces. Not too shabby. I appreciate the nibble there, bud. Off she goes. We finally, broke the curse of not being able to hook up with a dang fish now we just got to prove that we can beat noah with it and i think he's sitting at close to four pounds with a fish he caught in the last pond so we got some work to do we're about two pounds shy oh there we go they eat the rats so soft dude it's not a bad one at all they just come up and literally kiss the rat. This one didn't choke it like the last one. But he ate it pretty good. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's a skinny bass. Look at his mouth. Such a skinny fish. He just had the rat by the back hook. Look how long and skinny these bass are, guys. Not big by any means, but just lengthy fish. Thank you, baby. That's our second fish on the rat. They seem to be eating it pretty good. Haven't got to throw it here too long, but the bites that I've had, they're at least eating it and they're not short striking it. The one thing with this rat compared to maybe the prop bait, they're just eating it super soft. Like you barely even see them blow up on it. You just kind of see your rat disappear and they're on there. Oh yeah. Yo, that sounded like a good blow up. Boom, bada bing. We on the board. We on the board. That looks like an upgrade. Shoot. Got her in the boat. Long and skinny. Only she had a little bit of girth on her. If she was filled out, we'd be talking. Two pounds, one ounce. A little bit of an upgrade. We'll take everything we can get. We, we ain't coming in last. I ain't trying to get last place here today. Thank you for the bite, baby. Shoo. Really? Oh, oh my gosh. Is that a big one? I, I didn't see it. It's just taking off. Oh, I got him hooked in the belly. I got him hooked in the freaking melon, actually. Oh, sorry, buddy. Here, let me softly bring you in. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you, chief. No wonder you felt big. I, I like looked away for two seconds and I actually heard him blow up. I didn't see how he ate it, but I did hear him blow up. Buddy, you got a rat in your gill. There's a snake in my boat. I got a rat in my gill. I think it was going to be a big one at first. Yeah, no, it felt so large and it happened to just not be. Here we go. Honestly, guys, most beautiful markings on a bass. Just pretty. Not big, only about a pound and a half. Beautiful lateral line, beautiful colors. That's a nice fish. Thank you, Bubba. He's a lot healthier than the other ones we've hooked. All right. You know what we have not done yet today? I think Ratatouille has proven that he is a killer. And uh, he is definitely at the top of my list of the 100-year-old lures. I don't know. The, the prop bait's pretty good, too. But Ratatouille just has a personality. We're going to rig up this frog lure now. Looks saucy and juicy and and, and smoothy. I don't even know if that's a word, but that, that's just what it looks like. So we're going to tie this puppy on and get to work. I'm curious because Fletcher said this is 
more of like a, a crankbait, but we can definitely work it like a top water. All right, let's look at the action here. Oh, it is like a crankbait. No, I see what you're saying, Fletch. Like you can just barely reel it and it keeps it at the top of the water like a top water. So I can either do a crankbait frog or I can keep it like a top water. I like that. Yeah, so guys, when I reel it, it's like a crankbait, but it really doesn't want to like crank in a straight line. It's kind of all over the place going zigzag, flipping upside down. But if I throw it out there, just like this, and I kind of give it just one little pop and it just kind of darts and it floats right back up to the top. Then I pop it again. It kind of looks good. I think we can get one to come up and eat this, hopefully. If not, we might have to try something else. I did at least want to try this frog out today because it is pretty interesting. I don't know about the frog talk. I, I just, I really don't guys. I'm not feeling it. It's not really a top water. I, I was hoping the frog talk would. I at least thought we should have tried it out. You know, like we had to at least give the frog frog, the frog toggy a shot just to, you know, let him prove himself, but he didn't really prove nothing to me. With that being said, we're gonna put him back in the box. I don't know if this is a top water or not. I really don't. It looks like what you would think would be a popper, but I don't know. It might kind of run under the water. So we're gonna tie this on and just try it out real quick. I think it might be worth a shot. Tara, or uh, Fletcher is trying to tell me this is a jerk bait. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's definitely a popper. I don't know where Fletcher thought in his head that that was a jerk bait, but look at that. That's probably the best bait of them all. Little did we know. That's fire, dude. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh! Terry, he's coming! Oh. Terry, move it, move, move it, move it! What are you doing? He's, he's, he's there. It. He's right there. Pop it, Terry, pop it. He's, he's right there. Terry, pop it. Terry, pop it. Oh my goodness. He's still there. Now go, go back and forth. Do like a figure eight. Is he still following it? Oh my goodness. That was crazy. He about had me lose my mind. Oh my gosh. No. Guys, I don't know if you saw on the GoPro, but Tara missed that fish on the hook set and then he just literally was, he was following it and he put his nose all the way up on it. I think if he popped it just a little sooner. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's a monster that might be the biggest one today on the new top water. Oh my gosh. Okay, he ain't gonna beat that other one though. That's a solid three pounder. Oh my gosh, guys, he creamed this lure. I think we found the official king master of the 100 year old lures. This bait right here is legit, man. It looks so good. It honestly looks better than some of the modern poppers I've used. The action of this thing, is insane and that fish did not disappoint that was an insane bite i'm glad we tied this guy on i wish we were throwing him earlier we probably could have had a lot of bites at the other lake that's a close to three pound fish probably a high two pounder realistically that was an awesome bite man oh my gosh guys this top water is by far the best one i've used yet i got a gator chasing my bait it, it's just so juicy it even attracts the gators <laughs> this thing is legit That was a strike and a half. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. We on. We on. What I tell you, dude? I told you this thing is like a top water lure. Do you see that blow up? Destroyed on the surface. This qualifies in my book. Boom. Let's get these hooks out of you, honey. Barely hooked. Oh my gosh. That thing came right out. Get a weight on you. Don't wiggle, don't wiggle. Two pounds, five ounces. Bam, slowly moving up the leaderboards. Thanks, honey. Oh, there we go. There we go, got one just cranking it there. <laughs> oh, golly, look at that. I mean, she's shaking her head like a shark. Come here, sharky. Boom. Oh. Not gonna call. I appreciate the bite there, the little guy though. Not a bad one. Oh, the back to back cast on the crank. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. It's smaller though. And she's a floppy girl. And we're gonna keep on moving. We're running out of time. 
Gotta take the lead from Noah. This bait, guys, as much as I really, actually, I'm gonna, let me throw like two more. With it. I'm gonna throw a couple more casts with it. I'm gonna pass on the Terra. Cause I, I think this is, oh, dangle, dangle, dangle. Oh, oh, that's a bluegill. That's a free, that was the biggest bluegill. I'm gonna give it to Tara guys, see if she can smoke a giant on it because she is the queen of poppers. The last time she was throwing one, she caught her PB almost seven pounds. So we're gonna give this one to Tara, let her give it a go. She might be able to catch some good fish on it, but this bait has definitely enticed the fish way more than any of the other baits that we throw today. As much as it breaks my heart. I need all the help I can get It today. It just needs to go. It's a sad day. Take your time. There you go. Yes, you got him. Hooks nice. up. Keep it, keep the pressure. Oh, it's a nice one, dude. There you go. That's a nice one. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. All right, let's land this puppy. Yes, you got to land. Keep, keep oh. the pressure. Don't you know, just grab the line. You just had to cheer me on, Fletcher. That's what I was, I was waiting for you to cheer me. You're gonna have to beat two pounds, five ounces to beat me. So what you're saying is I, I might have won. Probably. <laughs> I think your first fish definitely secured the dub. That's a good one. Yay. You might have Fletcher on that one, I don't know. He is a little skinny. Oh, Tara's gotta beat two, two, five. Oh, two pounds even. Good job. You got one. Oh yeah, there he goes. Oh yeah, that was an awesome bite. Had to be patient with it. That was one of the coolest bites I've had on the prop bait all day, guys. Not a big one too. It's probably one of my small, definitely my smallest one. Smallest one had the dang coolest blow up, but he ate it. Thank you for the blow up. There we go. Pretty little fish. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Keep him down. Oh, that's a big one. The mouth is Oh, huge. I know. He's like Always skinny. With me. Oh my God, he's so long. Oh, oh dude, don't oh. come off. Don't come off. Oh, Tara, that is the, oh my oh. gosh, that is the longest fish. I think you might beat Fletcher's with that. I'm not going to lie. I'm telling you, that fish should be every bit of four pounds, but he's Look the skinniest thing. Here we go. Oh my God, it beat him. Two seven. <laughs> <laughs> you beat Fletcher's weight. That is amazing. Thank you, baby. 